What's up guys and welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash and today we're going ahead and going into Port Prisma just because you guys said that that little side quest we started with the toad and the seed and his friends will continue if we find all the toads which apparently we've already found some before we started the quest so if we go back into Port Prisma we can find out something. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Let's go in and find out. Oh look, it's it's sprouted. That's good. All right, what's going on, dude? Oh, hey, it's Red, dude. Okay, yo, Big Burp, been a minute. <laughs> Red, long time no seen. I was so pale, I was thinking about changing my name to White, but thanks to Mario, I'm good as Red. When did we say this guy? Oh, you know what, I think in Ruddy Road? I don't know, because we saved the Red Toad in Ruddy Road and then he ran off saying he had to be somewhere, right? I mean, I think we probably saved our good chunk of red toads. But uh, so I heard you got a letter from Piper and something about how if flowers bloom here, we could all meet again? Yeah, yeah, I planned the seed he sent too, and lo and behold, we got a couple of sprouters. Ooh, what does this mean? I can't wait until we get some flowers blooming in this spot. You know, hearing from Piper really, really take me back to the old days. It's funny, I remember one time, way back before I knew Piper that, well, all that wow. Oh, now he's got his emotional monologue, I get it. Everybody has their own little piece of the pie. Field day was coming up, and I was trying to get in shape, so I was working out and I ran in the piper. He did his little foo-foo-foo laugh, and I figured he was making, some, making fun of me, which made me train even harder. I trained like crazy. And then the field day race comes, and it turns out that my training partner was all, or training was all for nothing. I'm running in last place all the time. But when we get close to the finish line, Piper is in the lead, and he just falls down all of a sudden, tripping over, tripping everyone but me. It seemed kind of fishy, so after I won, I asked Piper if he fell on purpose to let me win. But Piper just got hit this look on his face like, nah, man, and started laughing. That was really how our friendship started. I still think he fell down and tripped everyone else so I could win. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> so these guys all have their own stories together. That's like the cutest thing ever. Did I talk to them some more? Let's see. I'm pretty sure Piper threw that, that race on purpose. Uh, Piper was always laughing. He got nervous easily. Interesting. So now the flower is here. Whoa, coins pop out of his tail. Okay. That's good. I hope I didn't just break the flower. <laughs> All right. So maybe we'll try to revisit that every episode and see if we can't continue the mini quest we got going on there. But for right now, we got something super duper important to do, which is going ahead and visiting, visiting uh, Fortune Island because there might actually be a big purple pain star waiting for us there, so that'll be super duper exciting. It's been a very huge journey through the Lost Sea, and I wouldn't be minding too much if it ends here, but let's go ahead into Fortune Island. Oh man, whoa. I don't see too much fortune. I've seen a lot more ominous stuff. After all these years, Fortune Island. I can feel my goosebumps getting goosebumps. <laughs> and would you look at the giant skull? You're not scaring me off. After that whirlpool and all the darkness, this may be the least scary island we visited. <laughs> I think that might be a little too much to say. I mean, what, what do we for, like what is this island fortunate for? Like is it fortune as in gold, money, or is it fortune as in like a fear? <laughs> so I think it's where the ladder so far. Oh boy. Well, let's give it a shot. Hello. End of the line, Fortune Island. Well, I suppose it'd be time to disembark. Yo ho ho. Well, why are you sad? What's that, Captain? Your voice trailed off at the end there. <laughs> Captain, you can't lose your nerve now. Now after all, not after we all we've done. We reclaimed our ship from rival marauders. We painted the sea itself. We solved the puzzles in the journal. Well, I guess Mario and Huey did all of that for us. We came here to find our fortune and we're almost there. So you can't give up now. To us, you're already the stuff of legend. Yeah, come on, Captain. Yeah, ha <laughs> you're right, mates. What kind of captain gets spooked by a beauty little 200 fo foot tall skull? Not this one. Onward, crew, let's unearth the treasure of Fortune Island. Who's with me? Yo ho ho, even Mario. <laughs> Let's do it. Except for this guy, he's just gonna chill here. All right, oh, can we still go down here? I guess we could, I don't know if there's anything down there for us anymore. 
All right, so I was saying in the previous episode how I hope there's not a parallel universe here. You guys told me not to get my hopes up, so I won't. Because it's just, it's like the parallel universe stuff is cool, but it's also very, very difficult. But now that I've had like a few days breather from the game, it's like I'm willing to take it on again. When I was all doing it in like a three hour spree, it was getting very exhausting, but it seems like we got some good cards waiting for us. This is like the shape of a clam there. Very cool. So over this area is really nice. Oh, this is a fishing pole. We got our own fishing pole from Cobalt Base? Something like that, I think it was Cobalt Base. Hmm, a lot of stuff going on. Okay, what are you guys stuck at this time? Hold on, hold on. Oh no, Bloopert, don't do it, don't do it. This is so spooky. I faced my fears head on and marched right out to this gold shaped boulder, but there's a small problem. See, there's definitely be, there definitely be an opening over there, but we can't get to it. All the guts in the world don't mean squat when paper meets water. Huh. Clean out your ears and listen up, we need to find another entrance. Or we need to find a way to make that entrance work for us. Like this big cork in the side of his ear. Like, I mean, we actually have a cork thing, but what does that matter here? Huh, interesting. I don't know if I can get up there from here, but maybe there's something in a parallel universe we can figure out. Also, if I see these little pillars, I'm gonna try to knock them down just because I feel like I, oh, whoa, 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 oh, I smoked too soon. Aha, one of the f those weird pipes. Fortune Island must have a parallel world too. Well, there it is. Let me go ahead and boop, get that. It is a big fire flower. Very cool. So I'm just trying to double check if I missed anything. I don't think I did though. All right then, let's go ahead and go into the next parallel universe. It's gonna be fun, right? It's gonna be fun. I mean, I don't mind too much. Like I said, now that I've gotten a little bit of a breather from the game, and I'm not playing all three levels in a row, like that was probably the, the bad choice because it was very exhausting. I mean, they're good levels, it's just they're very difficult too. And sometimes difficulty will outweigh the fun. Let's get this, that's an ice flower. Hmm, there's still this cork here. But the water won't be here, that's the idea. Whoa, whoa, no, no yep. Yeah, don't even think about it, buddy. Okay, <laughs> he's backing off. Okay, you better. Huh. Well, there's gonna be a lot to do around here then. I don't know where we should start, no. Yep, yep, wait, no, come on. I get so confused trying to dodge him. Oh man, and we don't have full health either. Maybe I should have bought more cards, but at the same time, I just got a bunch of them. Jumping on these guys still works, right? So, I might try just a combo like this, and hopefully this will get stuff done. That guy said, boo yeah, like boo yeah. Ooh. Oh, I messed that up big time. Well, you know I haven't played the game in a couple days when I do stuff like that. Ah, oh, I'm gonna need much more. These boos are so tough. All right, so I am back now. You might notice that some things are different, like I have significantly less coins, and why that is, got you this time, is because I, I, I realized how low I am on cards, so I just went ahead and I stocked up. I got a lot of good stuff, so it's just sort of a matter of the fact that it was just a little bit on the expensive side, but now we got plenty of stuff that should last us for a while, and I'm not worried about my deficit of coins just because of the fact that I plan on going ahead and doing some of the Rochambeau next episode, like really catching up with that, because that's what we really gotta do. I'm gonna be catching up with that as much as possible, Possible. You know, probably just doing like, cause I think we have like five available now, even though we've only done three, and we still need to take on the wizard. So I'm gonna take on the wizard, we're gonna get a bunch of that kind of stuff done, and that'll be good, because then I'll be able to get a lot of coins from it, cause you almost always get a ton of coins from it. So there's all that figured out. Okay, this guy's like not pleasant though. I'm gonna try to like lure him over here if I can, or just keep walking. Oh, haha, <laughs> got him. So this is where we can actually enter Fortune Island. I don't know if we, whoa, 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 oh, and it's a cabbing battle too? Come on, give me some break. Oh boy. So this is a Dry Bones five stack, which isn't so bad, but what is camera gonna do to make it unbearable? Probably flip all the cards? Yes, flip all the cards. Well, there goes some of my ideas, but I just still have some. Wait, 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 let me see if these, neither of these need to be painted, so I think they are what I expect them to be. Let's hope so. Oh, well one of them was a pal block. I thought I was gonna be like a line jump or something. Ooh, I'm getting them now. I mean, of course, this isn't the best idea, but I mean, I'm gonna be able to get all five of them actually. No, this will be fine. Maybe I should've stuck with this. Ooh, there you go. Take that, Kamek, and there you go. 300 coins back. That's how I'm gonna start making my money back. Good stuff. Unfortunately, he didn't get me any coins out of the battle itself. Okay, so like I said, I don't know if I wanna 
quite deal with it just yet. Hmm. Yeah, well, there isn't too much going on over on this side, so let me like check things out over here. It's weird that it is sort of a dead end. That's weird. Yeah, that's abnormal that there's like a dead end like that, but maybe those corks, once we can get those corks out, can you get out of here? <laughs> maybe that'll help us deal with things a little bit better, but let's go into the giant scary skull to find giant scary things. Sort of, there's an ice brown. I definitely need that one-up mushroom, you might be able to see. I'm a little low on paint right now. Oh, how did that get me? He's got a good shot on him. He should join like a baseball team or something. Oh boy, no, no, no. I mean, there was Super Mario Sluggers, that was a game. Oh, got you. I can't get you right now, now I can get you. This is an easy way to get some coins. It's not a ton, but, you know, just to get a little bit more. And only 30 coins for another card. Oh, and I'm dealing with these guys pretty well. So far, this is turning out better than the other battles. Ah, oh, yeah, this is how you get rid of the corks. So now this is a way I'm gonna be able to enter, correct? If I hop out on this side. Ah, it is. So I think our next idea will be to go back to the normal universe because I can't get across here. So our next idea will be to go across in the normal universe and that'll be good. I wonder if uh, the captain will come in with us or not, who knows. Let's find out, it's only a hop, skip and a jump. Luckily the traveling situation is better than it was on the lighthouse level because lighthouse level like you had to walk all the way across the aisle. Now like they figured it out. Aye, perhaps you can use that yellow rock to enter the giant terrifying skull. I mean, we do it ourselves, but we can't jump like ye, or ye, or use battle cards or paint timers either, so yar. Check it out for us, please. Well, anything for you, Captain. <laughs> Besides, I'm getting a whiff of what, uh, uh, of that sweet, sweet big paint star smell. Let's go, Mario. Good on you, mates, well on. Guard this small patch of grass while you're gone. Sure. The thing is, is that, you know, he says something that's sort of interesting there. They can't jump high, they can't use the hammer, they can't use the battle cards. Last two I, oh, what's up now? Aye, just as I thought this place would be bursting with creepy secret stuff. Don't look like it can jump back here, so be careful. We'll see if you can find another way in while you're doing your thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but what I was saying was like, why can't they use battle cards? Why can't they use a hammer? Maybe the hammer parts, like they just don't have the physical, like stature maybe? So this is a, here's an unfurled. God, I start I saw it coming for me. Buddy, get out of here. Oh, and that's another Kamek battle? But what is preventing Toads from using battle cards? You know, like, is there some, like, magical ability? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna, oh, are you gonna turn all my cards around again? Again? Come on, this is the same song and dance. You can't make it a little bit more interesting? Okay, well, I know what I can do here is that this should be helpful enough. I don't have enough paint to paint this, so. Uh-oh. Well, I would have enough paint to paint. Like, okay, so I remember things pretty decently there. And I just don't know how far this ice flower will get me if it's not painted. Ooh. Oh. Okay, yeah, now it's just paintless. Interesting. All right, well, I was hoping that I could save this for the big dude way back there, but now I'm a little lost. I don't know exactly what cards I can use. Uh-oh, and I just took some big damage. So I'm gonna first throw in a mushroom, and I'm just gonna hope. Things seem good here. I really, oh no. Come on, I pressed down on that and it didn't paint it. That is so ridiculous. That is like really, really ridiculous. All right, who am I gonna be able to hit with this? I might actually be done for here. Boom, got you, and that did some good damage to the fire bro over there, but can you please hit this with the fire bro? Yes! All right, now as long as just that Koopa doesn't do a ton of damage. I don't think he'll be able to do 37, <laughs> he did three damage. What stinks is I just, I wanted to use the mushroom. Sort this stuff out. And then, do something like this and please let this work. That's double pal block, come on, I just want the mushroom. <laughs> this is too much. Okay, we got him. Oh wait, sort of. Hold on, we got another pal block. Ready, oh, and there you go. Now we got him. What a battle, sort of. <laughs> At least we're making our coins back if not anything else, but jeez. Come on, give me a break. Well, there's a lot of hammer progression too. If I could just get a battle, like I, I almost want to purposely go into a battle to use some mushrooms. I mean, I guess that's sort of counterintuitive. No matter what, we're gonna find a battle. I just hope it's not another Kamek battle. But oh, now we can break into here. Aha, and this is where, and, oh no, this is the core. Okay, I was gonna say. 
Um, so we can get that. There's a lot going on here. So we could hop out that side, but for right now, I got this block right here, and I'm gonna make the most of it. There's also something to go down over there. Okay, get that. And what is this gonna do for me? Oh, they're gonna raise. Oh yeah, it's gonna become this weird bridge thing. Cool. I'll take it. <laughs> it's, it's transformer barrels. Why, why not? Ooh, health. That's what I wanted. Let's go down here. And what shall we find on the other side? A lot of cool stuff. I do want to say again, thank you guys so much for your patience for this series. I do really appreciate it when, you know, I may not have time to record and put up videos. Like, just so you know, like every second I have of the day, I spend making videos. But sometimes, you know, I have other videos to make. So when you're patient with this series, I do appreciate it. With that being said, it's like one of my top three priorities for videos right now is this series. So what's in here? This is... More, more of hallways, okay. I, just, I had a skull over the door. You would think that would mean it's like some crazy boss fight. <laughs> Mario, I can smell the big paint star in this room. I'm going to take a look. Uh-oh, Huey, no, come, we, we just, wow, what is this? Uh-oh, Huey, wait there for like a minute. Mario, come quickly. <laughs> you can't leave him. That'd be the funniest thing though. Oh, see you, Huey. I was always impartial. Oh gosh, what in the world? Oh, oh gosh. Smoky in there. Whoa, steam. <laughs> so much smoke, I can hardly breathe. But I think I saw the paint stir off in the distance <laughs> through the smoke. Oh, I dropped my phone. I didn't even know he had a phone. How can we clear all the smoke out? I don't know, let me pick up my phone first. Okay, Um. how can we clear out the smoke? Do we have a thing car that might maybe do that? I don't think so, I mean a fan. <laughs> How many times are we gonna use a fan thing card? A lemon maybe, lemons might be. What's happening? Did we find the treasure? Whoa, five chests. Whoa, it's full of treasure. Could this be the fortune of, well, Fortune Island? Maybe, let's first paint this one up. This is interesting, I wonder if this will be like Super Mario 64 where you have to guess it in the right order or it'll zap you. There's bags here. Bags of money, loads of money. What is inside? Um, what? Okay, hey, look at that. This looks like it might be complicated. Smoke is pouring out of that adorable little volcano. It must be rising up into the room with the big paint star. Indeed it is. Now we know where the smoke is coming from, but how do we stop it? Another good question. This is very complicated. Maybe we'll find the thing we need, the thing card, in the other. There's no way we're not gonna run into a boss fight, right? Like, I mean, I don't know. We'll probably find the thing card in the other parallel universe, and in that universe, we'll probably find whatever our boss fight might be. It's very weird. Very weird, but not in a bad way. I wanna check out the other treasure chest. This level, okay, this level is actually seeming to be very expansive. I also want to check out what's on the other side of the cork. Ah, I mean, arg! How'd you get out of here? You went in and you came out there, so there'd be multiple entrances. In that case, it'd probably be safe to, uh, for us to explore a little bit. I set up a ladder inside for easy access. Feel free to use it. Oh, really? Cool. I thought you said you were gonna go inside. Yep, 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 yep. I know what a ladder is. Wait, oh, what is quote unquote ladder? I thought so. I thought so, <laughs> that's funny. Oh gosh. So let's uh, hop back in. <laughs> I just wanted to test, see if it's foolproof, so that when I need you guys, you'll be there. So, uh, hmm, let's first go over here to the left and see how this is checking out for us. Like, what's going on in here? Like, this was just a dead end in the parallel universe, but here, in the normal universe, there's just some free stuff to get. We got a jump times three, that's new. Very cool, and an iron jump. And that looks like it's about it, but that's totally fine. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back then, and we'll, oh, oh, and this clam. Painted clam now, it is now painted. So we don't need the unfurl block for anything. But we could see if we can't go down any of the other chests, because I think that's you know, just a good idea to approach. I like how those, I don't know why there's all these spike jumps. Okay, I can only guess that at some point we're gonna be chased by something and we need to you know, run down. And this is very weird as well. Like you see like there's 
This one flame? How much you want to bet we'll have to remember these flames? And like, know which one's which? I don't know, it's weird, for sure. Well, let's keep going. Like I said, I want to check out the treasure chest. It's a long walk, this place is bigger than it looks. But there's that one, but what about all these other ones? This one, oh man, it has another. What is this? It is, you got a letter from the chest. To whom it may concern, we have taken the contents of this chest for our bonus round prize. Sniff it or whiff it incorporated. Okay, so that was the camera. Sniff it or whiff it, really? The captain won't be happy when he hears that the fabled treasure of Fortune Island has been claimed by someone ch by some cheesy game show. I have a feeling we're going to need that treasure for, from Sniff it or whiff it. Well, do you, did you ever get the prize for claiming the bonus round? Yes, we did. So we have the camera. And this is a coin. All right. So now they gave us a reason to complete the bonus round if you didn't already have it. Here's another coin. Is it really just like five cents? And then finally, another coin. What a lousy treasure! <laughs> Captain's gonna be devastated, the poor guy! Well, I guess that's about all we can do at this moment. I guess it would be quicker to go the other way around. Let's go ahead and go to the parallel universe and see what new things we can do there now. So we're back in the parallel universe. Let's go ahead and just try to enter this way. And this should work just fine. Hmm, well there's this guy. Let's try to, No, oh, yeah, I got him, I got him, no problems. So now we can get across here nice and easy. This jerk is still around. Oh, I tried to dodge it, hmm. And it's not a comic battle, that's good. I'm sick of those. <laughs> I'm really sick of like two in one episode is plenty. So we definitely need to, am I out of mushrooms? No, I'm not. But I sorted this. And it was just really picky before, because I feel like I sorted it in the Kamek battle and it didn't actually sort anything, it just randomized things. So let's go ahead and use one mushroom, we'll use a pow block, and then we'll use a big fire flower. I think that'll be good against both the, the multi-stack of booze and also the ice bro. So let's see how this works. I've never used a big fire flower, so I don't know if the fireballs are just really huge or something. But let's go ahead and got it. Got it, excellent, nice. So that did some damage to him, but it didn't do anything to the boo because it's floating, which I always forget, and I can't believe I messed it up. It happened way too soon, I wasn't ready. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stop it right now, that is ridiculous. Okay, how do we wanna do this? Honestly, if we have a big, we should have a giant hop slipper. We do, here's a giant hop slipper, and then I'll use this, and then I'll use that. Let's try that. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Got him, okay, that was good, that was good. Now, I don't know if the Ice Bro will need this much of a beating. I really don't know how much health the Ice Bro has, and that's why I sort of like wanted to be a little bit cautious of it, especially when I'm going to occasionally mess a jump up. But it looks like we did need a little bit more than the triple. This should be able to take him out, I think. Yep, okay. So a little bit of overkill there, but it's fine. We've been holding on to that double jump for a while now. So there, there, there we go, we have that. There's this guy over here, which I'm not too worried about, but meh. And then get rid of you. This is an e camera So we could, oh, can we even? Yeah, we, wait, huh. How do we get up there then? Well, I guess what we could do is we could exit out of the front, go around the left. Okay, then what is gonna be in there? Something good maybe, something not so good maybe, who knows, who knows. So this was not actually a dead end. I was right about that one. Hmm, so here there's just a bunch of cash. There's this, which is, ooh, the double hurl hammer. I'll take that for sure. That's a good one again. We get some cash. We're back over 2,000 coins. I definitely wanna get the 9999 coins. Like I don't know if it goes above that, but that's what I wanna find out with you guys. That's a. Uh, Get rid of you. And let's go ahead and go back to everything. Basically, we just need to run around the whole place again now that it's paralleled, or not paralleled. If it was paralleled, then we'd see, you know, nothing different, right? But that's not the case. I don't know why, it's just like an alternate universe, really, than it is parallel. What, what, oh, that's right! See, we did need to remember something. Okay, let's first get rid of you. Then it's in the center. Then I think it's in the center again. Nope, nope, I was wrong. Oh darn, these memory games. They really are tricking. No, wait, what? Oh, it starts me back at the beginning. Okay. We only got one more left to go and it's in the center. 
Yep, okay, I got it that time. And then, oh yeah, what, what did I say? You gotta remember which one's which. They got that one for us. Oh no, I don't quite remember though. I'm sure there's plenty of context clues though, right? Mm, I think I remember it though. I think I do. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think it's this one it was the last two, and then the second from the left, right? That's what it was. And then lower this one. Is that it? Whoa, whoa, that was it, that was it. Uh-oh. Whoa. This is so Zelda-like. <laughs> I love it so much, but it is totally Zelda-like. There you go, we did it. We solved the puzzle. Sort of accidentally, but not entirely. I had the idea going on. I just didn't think it would actually lead to us opening the door. Okay. Well, maybe, will there be smoke in here now? Uh, Huey, why do you always go in first? Mario, I smell something delicious coming in front inside the cave. I'm gonna go take a closer look. Good luck, dude. Wow, again? Oh, there's just smoke. <laughs> I should have tried to leave. I should have tried to leave. Oh boy. But now, I don't know, it looks weird in there. It looks different. It's not like as red. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It's just like that spooky room in the normal world. I can see something in there, but unless we do something about that smoke, we won't be able to get it. So is there another volcano? Oh, now there's <laughs> not as glamorous as treasure, I can tell you that much. Okay, so that got us a double hammer. There wasn't too much going on here. Not as good of a treasure, I can tell you that much. Okay, well wait, there's another Captain Toad? Hey, look at that. It's a parallel universe captain. And he looks a little evil. He's got like an evil smirk to him. Someone over there is making all of that smoke? Who is that? It's the yellow captain. I didn't think there'd be a parallel universe captain out there, but there he is. Can I get you before I hop out? Come on! That was his total perspective malarkey there. Oh man, I'm tired of fighting booze. I just I wanna find a new area. Like I can't wait like to just get the big paint star because I'm so sick of booze. Ahoy, were, were you drawn here by this oh so delicious aroma? Well, keep your boots in, it'll be ready in a minute. Well, can you hurry up a little bit? You're harming the environment in many different ways. Uh, hello. I said keep your boots on, it'll be done when it's done. He's not gonna be happy about this. He is not gonna be happy, I feel so bad. But Mario is ruthless, he's like, I'm gonna take your grill and your food. There wasn't even anything on the grill. You got a charcoal grill, grills food to perfection. Very cool. How dare you ring out my grill? It was almost medium rare too. The grill? You done messed up now, boy. There's no fury like a hat then, or hungry cat than fury. I'm gonna follow you around all passive aggressively until you're mildly annoyed. Okay, I thought we were actually gonna battle a toad. Look, we're sorry about your food. It's just that squeezing things usually helps us in our adventure. It's a reflex at this point. Plus, I mean, it smelled really good. Interesting. So I can just talk to you. I'd be, I'd, I've been sitting there savoring that sweet smoky scent for hours, and you had to go and ruin it. So I'm gonna stick to you like a bad rash until you make up it up to me somehow. Okay. Totally cool. That can we bring you into the other universe? Can you help us in battle? I mean, you got that really cool um, skim tar there. I think that's what it's called. Scimitar, scimitar, something like that. I think that maybe he could help us. It would be really cool if he could help us in battle. Um, all why is he sad? This toad is really persistent. Don't think we're gonna be able to lose him. That's totally cool. There's no fury like a hungry captain fury. You're annoyed yet, boy? Not at all. Mario is resilient as well. You have to understand. He's dealt with many annoying things in his day. Okay, so um, let's go back. I mean, think about it. Mario deals with probably one of the most persistent enemies, Bowser. That guy just doesn't have quit in his vocabulary, and he really does hop down. This guy will follow us like... <laughs> What's that song go? It goes, I will walk 500 miles. Is that another toad over there? It's been so long since I've seen another toad. I almost forgot what we look like. Oh my gosh. Holy toad, come over here. I don't have any barbecue to offer, but uh, you on account of this plumber guy here, but. Oh. The yellow spots, the yellow vest, the oversized pirate tent, the jumbo cutlass. Oh, it's a cutlass. Okay. You're the. You're the. You're the legendary captain! Oh, it is! I didn't even piece that together! <laughs> oh! Duh! 
Oh my gosh. Let me get this straight. You lost your memory. You can't remember nothing at all? That's right, bub. I have absolutely no idea why I'm on this here island. By the way, I really like your garb, but it looks a little familiar. Are you copying me, mate? <laughs> well, uh, we still got that big pain star to find, so you two may take all the time you need. Hope your memories come back. Maybe he's missing a little paint on the back of his head? Not looking like it. Uh, meeting another toad after such a long time is a breath of fresh air. So while I haven't forgotten about the grill incident, I'll let it go for now. Hi, I'll look through the captain's journal to see if I can jog his memory. You and Huey go find the big paint star. All right then, so good progress. Glad to see that. But there really isn't anything we can, oh no, no, that's right, I was gonna say there isn't really anything we can do in this universe, but there is. We can go ahead and go to the smoky room now and see if it's as smoky. This makes me think of our cat Smokey every time I mention him. <laughs> okay, let's go and find out. So now there's a save block here. And that means we're definitely about to fight a boss. There's always a save block before a boss, especially where there wasn't one before. That is mysterious how they slipped that in there. Let's find out what is gonna be in this. Whoa, there it is. All right, the smoke is gone. It's beautiful and unprotected. Let's wake up the big pain star. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna fight a clam. Uh, what was that? Oh my gosh. It's Wendy. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting Wendy, but it makes a lot of sense. Ah, <sighs> or yawn, I don't know how to. Ah, <sighs> I don't know how to imitate yawn. Well, if it isn't the man of the hour. You're late. I've been waiting for you forever, mister, and I was beginning to think you'd stood me up. I thought to myself, Wendy, is Mario ever going to show up? And then I dozed off. Anyway, Mr. Bowser sent me to stop you from getting your grubby little mitts on the big pain star. And now that I've gotten some peaceful rest, it's time to help you rest in peace. Uh-oh, here we go. Wendy's always been one of the more difficult bosses in the side score games. Now, since you did come all the way to Fortune Island, I guess you must really like money, honey. <laughs> Get ready for a payday. This is cool, she has some cool dialogue so far. She's like quick on her tongue. She's a lot taller than I remember. I mean, the Koopas usually are pretty big compared to Mario at least. So I don't know what we're gonna be using against her. Hopefully we can use our intuition to find out, but honestly, I'm a little clueless. Like, it could be a few things. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna throw out some basic stuff here that hopefully will just sort of get a gauge of how much damage she's able to take. I don't know, though. Let me back up on that idea and get a mushroom out. There you go. I was gonna also throw in a double jump, but I think maybe this will be better. Maybe I shouldn't have done the hurl hammer because usually that's better for multiple enemies. Whoa, her set there doesn't have any paint. Or maybe it's just that it's a really light pinkish purple so we can't see it, because when she gets hit, you can see it. That's weird. Almost getting the color out of her shoes, though. Now let's go ahead and heal up, just because I feel like I'm gonna need that. And will that, yeah, that'll put us back to full, which is good. Whoa, money! Um, what are you gonna do with that? The piggy bag! The piggy bag is what's gonna get her! Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, that is a really hard thing to time it to 10 damage each, too. Wow. Okay, well, now we know what we're dealing with here. Let's deal with it. Let's try this. Maybe that way it'll disable her from attacking next turn. This is intense, I like it. <laughs> but I think the piggy bank is the way we wanna go. There you go, we got the excellent on it. Now, she still has some, no, 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 we got all the paint out of her shoes. Ooh, that was great. Ooh, that was good. Ready, fire flower, don't mess it up this, this time. They're really big, I like it. Ooh. Got it, nice. Okay, that actually did a lot there. The fire flower might be a good way to go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, they got a golden one. I forget how to do the golden ones. Here, oh boy. Oh, there is a timing. The way she throws it up is the way she's gonna throw it down. I get you now. That's actually a cool little idea. If you're paying attention, you'll catch it. Hmm. So we didn't have to fight all those enemies, which is good. I wish I had more big fire flowers and I have one left. And then I'll go ahead and use a big iron jump and we'll see how that works. I'll throw in another mushroom. This is my second to last mushroom too. Should have stocked up more on those, but I think we got this boss fight. I think we're gonna be ending up in the clear. Ooh, got it, got it, got it, got it. And that was excellent right there. And she is losing health quick. 
All right then, so finally, let's go at it. Boom, boom. Does she not have a thing card that we're supposed to use? I mean, I don't know, she's getting pretty low at this point. All right, so. So it's block, 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 block. Oh, I almost got all of it that time. All those coins and you're not even smiling. Well, I'll smile big enough for the both of us. Take my picture, honey. Wait, no, we're not using the piggy bank. Whoa. What's happening? What in the world? Now, get ready for something more valuable than coins. Let's see the one last big smile before I end this. Say cheese. Okay, if it, <laughs> they are making it literally as obvious as possible that it's the camera. And the camera we have, of course, we earned up through the bonus round. And of course they alluded to it because it was supposed to be in the other thing. I'll go ahead and use another big iron jump just in case she stays in her shell. And we'll try with that and see how things work out. Okay then, let's see what the big camera's like. This is cool, I love this. Ooh, oh my. Oh no, oh look at Mario <laughs> breaking down. Mm, looking good. Um, how'd we look? We look good. <laughs> is this, what is this gonna do? Are we gonna protect us? I, I am so confused. What? Oh, we're doing damage to her still. I am so confused, what did that do? <laughs> I can only help, like, was I supposed to do something? I don't know, but this is actually doing damage to her. All right, so this is gonna protect me, right? Here it comes, Wendy's gorgeous golden ring, protect your neck. What? Oh my. Uh, oh, it's gonna attack the photo? Mario's trying to run. My golden ring has you in its embrace. Your face is priceless. Um, she is like, oh, she's just trying to dance too and it's not working out too well for her. This is a very interesting battle and I don't know if I'm doing it right. Let's try this out. And hopefully this will be enough. Like even if I'm overkill here, that's totally fine. What is, I guess the ring, I mean the, the camera, oh no, I messed that up big time. But the camera and the, like the extra familiar is just supposed to be sort of like a, you know, extra buffer so that I don't take the ring. Ooh, got it. But that wasn't enough, she still has some health. I'm tired of looking at your face, so how about I break it? Sound good? What? Wow, so she throws the rings on whatever that is, okay. What? Why can't I beat you? <laughs> I guess she couldn't, she couldn't tell the difference, for whatever reason. I mean, I think she needs her eyes checked. Poor thing. <laughs> can't see the difference between me and a photo. All right, come on now, ready? Ooh, got it. Oh, and that was it. We wasted two hours, but I'm totally cool that we just defeated Wendy. Cool. Oh, fine, you beat me, I get it. I can't believe I came all the way out to this stupid island, waiting in this cramped shell for days on end, only to lose. Well, at least I lost to you. Don't tell Mr. Bowser I said this, but you're kinda cute, Mario. Aw, hee hee hee. Bye. <laughs> there you go, we beat her. We did it, now we can take that big paint star. We got it. We got what we came for, but the captain must be horribly depressed about the lack of treasure here. Poor guy. Yes, about that. As I discovered long ago, the treasure of Fortune Island had already been claimed. Who's talking? Oh, you, okay, so you would have a different voice. Um, does that mean you remember what happened, um, other captain? <laughs> yeah, I remember everything. I crossed the Lost Sea and the Violet Isles and came alone to this island. Sure, I opened up a uh, few treasure chests here and there, but most were empty. Yeah, so there was treasure on this island, which means we'd be too late for scavenging it. Aye, but the only real treasure in my view was that lovely grill. I conked my noggin pretty bad while exploring the love, the funny parallel world, totally knocked myself out. And then I came to, it was up there, it was there in the parallel world, just frying up some fish, so he hasn't been in this area. Anyway, the fish was pretty, pretty good. Nothing like a little amnesia to work up the old appetite, let me tell you. <laughs> So the treasure of Fortune Island be no more. I was too late. All those years of searching. Not quite, you haven't opened up this chest. There's big obvious chest behind you. Don't get down in the mouth now, what? I guess a frown, I get it. The sea is wide, the world is wide. There are incredible undiscovered treasures waiting to be plundered. Get your hands salty in the sea, mate. You'll make a fine legend yet. Come on, I'll show you. Blimey, you'll teach me your legendary ways? That be the bestest treasure of all. Yeah! No, don't go, there's a, there's a treasure chest right next to them. Aw, now let's wake up our treasure, the big paint star. Hold on, hold on. 
We first filled that up. And let's see how our progress is with painting everything. I don't, I haven't missed anything. And I've seen 97% as always. Uh, there's probably something I'm missing that you guys want me to know. Hang on there, I think you've got some unfinished business with the big paint star now. Yeah, I know. What's in here? Uh, a coin. <laughs> they just love taunting us like that. All right then, big paint star for us. It's the big, it's the purple, it's the star, it's the big paint star. Good. <laughs> Awesome stuff, you got a big brain star. Mario looks so happy. All right, so is this gonna fill up? What is this gonna fill up? I can't remember if we found it or not. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, is it gonna fill up over here? No, it's gonna, where is this going? Oh, it's going to Mustard Cafe. Okay, I've been wanting to go here, so this is a good start. Hmm. Well, here we are. So now this big old spot will be filled up with purple. Wonder why. That's interesting, we'll definitely, oh well, no, it's a hole. Oh no, poor Toad, my! Oh my gosh, it was a giant crater. The poor guy didn't even know. Just wanted a tan. <laughs> now instead of looking like, you know, slightly browner, he's gonna look slightly more black and blue if he survives. There, there's our fourth big paint star, that is crazy. There we are. All right, how you doing? Whoop whoop, the purple big paint star is back in board Prisma. I am the purple big paint star. Mario, Huey, thank you for saving me. I remember the attack on Port Prisma very clearly. What more do we need to learn though? I thought we really got the full picture at this point. I mean, that's sort of the thing. Like, how far back does this go? Oh my, look at them fly down. They're like little parachuters, but they are the parachutes, so they don't really need it. Whoa. What is happening? Oh no, and the Goombas are flowing in too, like everybody. This is like the whole attack. So they came in nice and ready for this. Interesting. <laughs> oh no, the poor Toad. Oh gosh, here's Bowser again. He is spooky. What is this, what, what are we looking at? Oh, here come the paint. So this is like before they even picked up the paint. Very weird. Of course, we're watching all of this backwards, so I hope that once we get all the big paint stars, we can play all the memories in the correct order and, and figure it all out. Those slurp guys suck the paint out of everything in poor Prisma. But why are they so paint crazy? They didn't just slurp the walls and the ground, they slurped toads. What is Bowser planning? Okay, how about we blow off some steam, huh? To celebrate the revival of the big paint star. Let's shake it. Oh, what's it gonna be now? Ooh, ha <laughs> I love it. It's like a little pirate dance. I like how you prismatic rhapsody. Very cool. Oh, look at there's the pirate captains. This is great. I love it so much. I just love how it's always like a combination of everything we've explored, and basically in this like this chapter, this saga, this series, and we get ourselves another health boost. This will bring us to what, 150? That's crazy. <laughs> Look at us, we're doing it too. Max HPM. Very cool, saving, don't turn off the power, I won't. But there we go, we figured everything out. There we got the big purple paint star, now there are only two more big paint stars left to go, the green and the orange one, which I think the next one we'll be approaching is the orange one because of the fact that we're going back to Mustard Cafe soon. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. No, wrong game. Uh, Awkward. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Paper Mario Color Splash. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment purple zebra so that you've watched the end of the video and that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. But by the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.